In the next minute, I'm going to discuss how multinational companies should deal with the present crisis cases and how they actually do in Brazil. Do they actually appropriate in such situations? What should they do differently? But before, let's see some recommendations. The most common reaction of companies when facing crisis is to deny it, to deny it or at least to try to minimize it. What we observe is that in denying the situation, instead of getting support from the civil society, it already condemns the company as guilty. If you have to cope with a crisis, the best way is to act very quickly. Remember, to put people first. Do not limit yourself to your office. It is crucial to be present where the crisis is going and communicate, communicate, communicate. And remember, no secrets. So what you know and say what you know and take responsibility for what you know you are responsible for. It is also essential to stay calm and not speculate. Control the message because what you say will have many consequences. And how do companies cope with the press in Brazil? I'll give you two examples of companies that had to deal with crisis situations. Petrobras, a uh, Noia company, and JBS and BRF, companies in the protein market here in Brazil. Petrobras is a publicly held company operating in the oil, natural gas, and energy industry. Formed in 1953 as a Brazil's national oil company, it's one of the Latin America's largest companies. The company has a global presence and its increasing participation in the global energy sector. Through its units, subsidiaries, and trade and financial representation offices, Petrobras has operations in 18 countries in addition to Brazil. But what is the Petrobras scandal? In a two-year investigation known as Operation Car Wash that started in 2014, prosecutors have uncovered what they say is a huge kickback and bribery scheme at the oil giant which has become the biggest corruption scandal in Brazil's history. They alleged that senior figures at Petrobras conspired with construction companies to inflate the value of contracts. Much of the extra revenue was allegedly directed to political parties, including Lula and Rousseff's left-wing works party, to fund election campaigns. At first, the executives of the company declared that Petrobras was a victim, while some foreign suppliers to Petrobras say they faced de facto extortion, a situation of pay-to-play. Some Brazilian commentators have compared the Petrobras case to Italy's Mani Puliti, or clean hands. Just over a year after the beginning of the scandal, Petrobras has launched a hot site to inform the public about the steps being taken to improve the governance and compliance and management and prevent further corruption scandals, as such, uh, such as those triggered by the Operation Car Wash. It was created a Petrobras denouncement channel controlled by an external independent company specialized in the receipt of denouncements. This company is responsible for analyzing and determining the area responsible for conducting the proper investigation. Petrobras has been looking for several forms of communication of, with the civil society. Even a YouTube channel was created as a way to broaden the dialogue with the population, seeking to answer questions about the future of the com company. Some representatives of Petrobras have shown the face responding doubts. The other case refers to an operation in the Operation Weak Flash, an action enforced by the Brazilian Federal Police that started just last March 17th, which investigated some of the country's largest meat processing companies, JBS and BRF. Both companies are accused of having mixed rotting meat into meat to be sold in Brazil and abroad. More than 30 meat inspectors were fired. They allegedly allowed the rolling meat to be sold and even dates of expiration to be altered. Even cardboard would have been used in the processed meat. 
According to the Brazilian Animal Protein Association, restrictions by several key importers of Brazilian meat, ranging from China to Europe, caused a 22% drop in weekly average exports of pork and poultry since news of the federal police probe broke compared to prior weeks. The image of companies has suffered greatly. An avalanche of jokes invaded the internet regarding the alleged use of cardboard in meat processing. This is a kind of exposure that no CEO wants for his company and needs a quick response. On the day after the start of the operation, both JDS and BRF have already issued official announcements both for the press and using TV advertising. Both companies deny participation in the scheme, but they say they will collaborate with the investigations of the case. However, none of the CEOs or any other top executive of the companies showed the face to the press and society, giving responses on behalf of the company. The announcements came quickly, but without the signature of top corporate executives. All in all, we, one can observe that there is still an important room for improvement for companies to learn how to deal with the press in crisis situations. A swift response is not enough if not given properly. Thank you.